All right. Um, here, review. We have um, ignorance is bliss. When you say ignorance is bliss, you're basically you're telling them, hey, you're better off not knowing. Okay, ignorance is bliss. You know. So sometimes, like your friend tells you, oh. I was so happy and then I found something out and now I'm really sad. And you tell him or her, yeah, ignorance is bliss, right? You were better off not knowing, okay? Because sometimes it's when you find out it hurts, <laughs> right? So that goes with the saying, what mama don't know can't hurt her. You know, um, because moms really worry a lot and, you know, as long as you're Getting good grades, no matter how crazy you are, as long as she doesn't know, she's not hurt by it, right? So that's what ignorance is bliss means, all right? Yeah, you're better off not knowing, okay? Not knowing is what will make you happy. It ain't over till the fat lady sings. Now, this expression right here means it is not over yet, okay? So maybe like you opened up your own company, your own business, a restaurant, and... Things aren't looking so good and, you know, your your family and friends are telling you, hey, close down the shop, right? Close down the company. It's just, it's not, it's not good. And you tell them, hey, it ain't over to the fat lady sings. I'm not giving up, right? Maybe you give them a motivational speech like, look, Alan Musk, he sold his stocks at, for PayPal to start his own company and, he spent all, all that money and he was broke, sleeping in his office, and he borrowed money to continue because even though people told him to quit, he said it ain't over to the fat lady sings, right? And now, you know, he has SpaceX sending spaceships to outer space and he has Tesla, right? Something like that. Um, live and learn. When you tell someone, hey, look, you live and learn, it means, you know, hey, you make mistakes, but... That's a part of life, right? You Living life is making mistakes and learning, okay? You know, you tell them, hey, I made a mistake. I live and learn. Um, here, that hit the spot. When you say, oh, that, you know, like, how is the food? Oh, it hit the spot. Or that hit the spot. You know, you know, this hit the spot. You're saying my stomach is filled, you know, just right. You know, I didn't eat too much. I'm not like, I'm not bloated. Um, I didn't eat too little. I'm still hungry. You know, it just it hit the spot. It tastes good. My my body feels good. My tongue, stomach, everything feels good. Okay, that hit the spot. So that goes with the expression, a way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Yes, that's an old American proverb. <laughs> yeah. Um, if you want a man to love you, um, you know, just cook real good and... <laughs> If his stomach's happy, he's happy with you, all right? Next is weather the storm. When you weather the storm, it's saying, you know, you just, you're going through something difficult, all right? So right now, um, I think a lot of Korean companies, they're weathering the storm, right? Um, you might have a hard time at work. You're weathering the storm. You're fighting with somebody, someone close, you know, family member or significant other, or friend, you know, you're weathering the storm, right? You know, so weather the storm is, you know, you're going through something difficult. Next, next, oh, what we have here, significant other. Significant other means, you know, like your spouse, which is, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, is a gender neutral term. Spouse, like the word sibling, brother or sister. Okay, gender neutral term. Um, or your significant other can be your boyfriend or girlfriend, you know, someone who you consider very significant in your life. So maybe it's a boyfriend or girlfriend from a long, you know, a long term relationship. When you say like my bad, when you tell someone, oh, my bad, you're basically saying it's my fault. I'm sorry. OK. Um, you know, when you tell someone, hey, you good. That means you're doing good. If someone says, oh, my bad, like, I'm sorry, and then you say, oh, you good, that means, eh, you know, you, it's okay, don't worry about it, right? Um, so this term, you good, like, you can use it, like, for so many different situations, okay? Um, once again, like, the example, let's say I was in a meeting with Mr. Chong, and 
Mr. Chung kind of notices that, you know, I, I want to leave his office. So Mr. Chung might tell me, eh, you're good. Yeah, you good. You know, you can go like that. Okay, so yeah, you, you good is, is a very useful <laughs> expression. All right, um, I hope this is, this was helpful. Okay.